Hello there, guys and gals. The Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide. And this time we are getting it all in Figment 2, Certain Creel Valley. Uh, this was developed and published by Bedtime Digital Games and is usually available for £21.74-$24.99 in American money. But it's currently included with Xbox Game Pass, so... Rawr. So we play as Dusty, a young man of courage set in the mind of a human bra. We have to traverse our way through the mind to get rid of nightmares, solve puzzles and encounter some really excellent musical boss fights. You see how the nightmares have destroyed the human bra's mind so it's up to us to save the day. Flub, yeah. Now as for achievements, obviously you get a couple for story related progression, a few miscellaneous ones such as get hit in the head with a bulb, kill an enemy with something etc. But the main biggies are in the form of memory shards. So we basically have to collect every one on every level to unlock all the memories. Plus there's a maze where we can't make a wrong turn, but it's okay because you can load to main menu and go back in if you make a mistake. Either way, you're looking at around possibly about three to four hours to get this done. So with that being said then, let's do it. And one thing I should actually mention is, um, you're obviously gonna hear a lot of just generally, generally fantastic music in the game, especially the singing parts with the boss fights. Obviously, I've had to turn the music off because of copyright issues, I one would assume. So, my video, you're not going to hear a lot of singing and dancing and stuff like that, but in while, while you're playing the game, oh, you're going to hear all lots of stuff and you're going to be jazzing and jizzing and dazzling and dizzling. Anyway, cutscenes unskippable, so, yes, now? we'll leave them in. Everything's getting gloomy. Just follow me, Piper. The nightmare ran this way. Hurry, Dusty. Soon, the mind will be shrouded in darkness. Eh, the fear of the dark is just a small scare. Oh. <laughs> it's Black Death awaits you. So walk towards the dark, you light-headed fools. He's sure small. <laughs> Relax, you nugget. We've beaten nightmares way worse than this one. Spider hog, spider hog, does whatever a spider hog does. Right, so, obviously it's going to be left stick to move. Um, It's going to be the A button in order to pick, uh, B button in order to pick things up. Sorry, so we're going to head to the right, down the steps, across these little lily pads. The A button is going to be to dodge, the X button is going to be attack. Uh, so, yeah, now this is genuinely... Surprisingly, this was a game that I thought was even better than I originally thought it was going to be. So, yeah, we are in for a real treat. So, you pick up the battery there with the B button, go back to the left, head down the left side of steps, press the Y button to get your inventory out, and then you can use the item by pressing again the B button. There we go. So, it's all good. Uh, now, these little green orbs are endurance neurons. So, basically, these are health. Bit, little bits of health. Now, there are plenty of these throughout the game. So, and the checkpoints are very good. So, even if you die, uh, you don't start too far back as we continue on. Um, the sprouts here are giving off some black goo. So, the best way to do that is to press the A button to just dodge straight through them. Dodge them, dodge them, and attack the crap. And dead. Yeah, come on. There we go. We got there eventually. So, yeah. So, like I said, if you die... Checkpoint is not too far away, which is always nice. Plus, there are tons of these little health, and enemies drop little health health balls as well. So, when we go up here, we are going to pick up this orange battery. And we're going to have to go back to the left. And we're going to be doing a little swap in just a bit. So, put the orange battery down in the middle here. Again, Y button and then B button. Go to the left, pick up the, bat the blue battery. Head to the right. And there we go, continue on your merry little way, put the blue battery in, and away we go! It's all magic! So, make sure to go back to the left, make sure to pick up the orange battery once again. And we can continue going to the right here. Uh oh, there's Porky! Be careful, Dusty! So we're coming up to our first slight boss battle, but this is basically it for the rest of the, well, 
this is how it goes. Look, so have a look at the floor. You see the shadows. You're basically just going to have to avoid all of the shadows on the floor. So obviously, if one's going straight for you, move to the left, move to the right. So you can't actually hit the pig. So don't try and bother doing that like I did. Then eventually he's going to put a line straight down the middle and charge at you. So just be careful. This is going to be the one. So make sure to dodge quickly. Whoa, watch where you're going, piglet. Again, and very sadly, with the musical boss fights, they are genuinely fantastic. Organ orchestra organized brilliantly, orchestrated lovely, and the singing is fantastic on all of them. But again, I'm not able to hear them because I had to turn the music down. Copyright issues, yes. So, once you're all healthed up, you're going to grab the orange battery next to this windmill. Now, you can knock on these doors here if you want and speak to uh, the, the little balls of... They look like little hairy nutsacks, to be honest, called opinions. So, you can speak to them if you want, but there's pretty much no point. It literally just... It, it adds maybe slightly a bit of story, but yeah, there's... there's no real point to it, so you don't have to worry about knocking the doors or talking to the opinions unless stated. So, once we've got everything and we have, um, we're not quote-unquote dead from spider Hog, we're going to change the blue battery, so pick it up and change that with the orange battery. That will then light the way for us, and we're going to do the same thing again. Into the next one, orange battery it up, and ta-da! So, when we get here then, if you need some health, it's on the right. If you want to knock a door, you can knock a door. But again, we're not going to bother. We're just going to go straight down to the left path. See, I'm not lying to you. We are going to go down the left path. Yeah, man. All right, there we go. Sorry, yeah, uh, I seem to get a little slightly confused there. But no, we're going down the left path. Do a rolling attack so you can press the A button and X. That'll that'll um, give quite a bit more considerable amount of damage, which will come in handy. So these little flowers are going to shoot stuff at you. So, uh, shoot black stuff at you. So, you know, dodge, kill, dodge, kill. If you can dodge a ball, you can dodge a wrench. As is the famous quote. So, continuing on forward, and obviously there's only one battery left to put in, which is going to be Le Bleu. Le Bleu. And with this one, you've got to go with the light. So just stay in the light and you'll be fine. Ugh, gloom clouds everywhere. Okay, so a bit of a puzzle coming up here. So what we're going to do is uh, wait until the light is here. And then we're going to dart off to the left when there's a gap. So go to the left, go over the li lily pads. Now what you need to do is look for the light at the top. Now when it when the light at the top gets to about the middle, then press the red button here. So stand on the red button and then jump off when the two lights connect, like so. And that should give you then a nice little path through. So again, just keep following the lights and you'll be fine. <laughs> So next we're going to go obviously down and head to the left. There's going to be a lot of these uh, bulbous attacks, no oh, bulbous things. So press X, the X button four times. It's going to give off a tiny little nice spin attack, and then you can press the button here by pressing the B button. Boop. There we go, tidy boy. That pops. That pops on the light. That lets us through. Dusty, but what's the plan 
happen when we get to the Black Hawk? No need to quake in your feathers, Piper. You're accompanied by courage. I'll think of something. Again, always be checking your health bar on the left if you need some health. As you can see, there's plenty of it about. So this is the sort of second phase out of three of El Hognus Regis. With, uh, yeah. Man, he looks good. But anyway. So, what we need to do, you obviously need to avoid his attacks here. So, immediately dodge to the left. Kick the button here. So, press the button. As you can see, I forgot to do that, first of all. So, we're going to kick the button. Now, he's going to start going a bit faster here. So, I actually messed it up. But we need to go up to the left. Grab the orange battery. And then, eventually, we'll need to go back down. And kick the button to... Uh, get the right side open again. Then you can quickly dodge up as quick as you can and pop the orange battery in. That'll put on a light and we can slice and dice little piglet nose. Little, little piglet nose. Lighten up, pig. It burns! <gasps> the light revealed his real shape! Ha! This little piggy should have stayed home! Bacon. So, after slicing, we're not quite done yet. We need to now go to the right to uh, use this button. And then what we're going to do then is head to the left. But he's going to start going a bit faster here. So, uh, you did kind of... I did need to be a little bit quicker there. So, that's my bad. But now we've picked up the red battery. We'll go back to the right. <laughs> Just went straight into his Ani. That hurt. And also stank a lot. Push the button, go up, pop the red battery in, and then do the same thing again. Now, what I don't get is, if you just need a light, surely you could have just found and carried a flashlight somewhere, hmm? Yeah, you think so. Anyway, now we're going to start running away. Um, so, basically, just continue to keep following the path down and avoiding all the black smoke. The death smudge. <laughs> I saw the meaning of life. It was... it was... Oh, wait. That's not it. Never mind. I am getting tired of these foggy thoughts. And now the nightmare is gone, too. Hang in there, Dusty. I'm sure we can find him again. Yeah. Okay, Piper. You're right. Let's go in this hog hunt. It's a real shame that um, I couldn't listen to the music, because it's, it's genuinely good. Ah, oh, loves it. Anyway, so we're just going to follow the quite linear path for now. There's going to be one more showdown with El Hognus Bognus Regis. Looks like the dream has been buried here. And we're going to bury the nightmare here too. Once and for all. Is that a stage up ahead? Let's bring down the house. Stop. And here it is then, the final phase. So, dodge to the left there to go through the light. So this is the first sort of phase of it. Uh, so continue to just keep finding the lights for the minute. Next up, he's going to do those charge attacks. So whenever you see the shadows on the ground, quickly move to the left or right.
So after those couple of attacks then, he's going to do some more double shadows. So again, just dodge the shadows. But this is where we can start to hurt our next meal, the next bacon sandwich. So after a few times, the clouds either side of him will dissipate and disappear. So quickly go to the left, grab the orange battery. battery and then again, we're going to do the same thing. So a couple of double shadow dodging and then go to the right and put the battery in. Lights on! <laughs> What's that? Stage fright? Ha! <laughs> Look at him fry! Right, so chase him around, slice him down, get your bread and butter ready, and enjoy your next bacon sandwich, and it'll be even fresher, so a nice fresh, nice fresh meat sandwich for you there. Of course, unless you're vegan, then you can just... I mean, you've got a bread sandwich, so... It all wins. So you're going to see these memories, which from now on, we're going to grab what are called memory shards and unlock memories. So we are playing in a, in a place called The Mind, and we are actually in the mind of the father. So it'll all makes it'll make a lot more sense when you know. Well, now that you know that, it, these memories will make more sense. Yeah. Hey, where are you? Hi, I took a short break from work. I'm at the new house. It'll be ours soon, Angela. We only have to sign the contract. I had to go and pick it up. Great news, huh? Uh, sure. That's great. Uh, the dinner reservation was at 8, right? The babysitter is here in a half an hour. Dad, I brushed my teeth already! Where's my bedtime story? Oh, the date. Uh, was that tonight? But I'm not done at work. I'm afraid we might have to... What? Extra hours? Really? Again? Oh, I'm sorry that I'm working for our house. Uh, yeah, I guess you are. You know what's important. I'm trying my best here, Angela. Look, I... I... I gotta go. to call upon you an urgent task. No problem, Mayor. All you have to do is ask. The moral compass has been unaligned and twisted the beliefs and the morals of the mind. You mean there's trouble in Creed Valley? There's yet another nightmare unconfined. Let's move quick before we run out of time. All right, more action. We're right behind you, Mayor. I can't believe it! We're going to the valley! Oh, he's a naughty boy. But anyway, Fragment to Creed Valley. Na 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 na. Na na. That was my theme tune at the beginning tune for Figment 2. You like it? Me neither. Creed Valley. The mine's worldview is maintained here, right? Looks pretty much as I remember it. It looks way cooler than in my books. The times have changed. Now the mine's out of luck. Something is keeping this place closed and stuck. Hmm. Doesn't sound good. Closed-minded. All the time. <laughs> but, hey, let's find a way to open the mind. A perspective switch is the key to your success. And of course, whacking the nightmare causing this mess. This is your task and all you need to know. You can count on us, Mayor. See you back home. Come on, Piper. Let's go. So this is where we're going to start getting to some more stuff, i.e. as, you know, we've already got the one achievement, i.e. some more puzzles, and we're going to start finding the memory shards, which basically just rocks with little balls in them. These are the opinion dudes. They just look like a whole bunch of feathers. 
Again, you can speak to them if you want, um, but a lot of the time there's really no need, especially, like I said, with knocking on the doors, you can have a look, but there's no need. It doesn't give you anything. You never progress anything. It never gives you an achievement, so it's pretty pointless. Right, when we come up here, just make sure to listen to these two argue basically until the um, achievement patient listener unlocks. It's going to take about two or three minutes, so... I mean, it's... Kind of a posh slash petty argument. I don't know how to make of it. Anyway, enjoy! Politely to be quiet and let me talk all the time. Ah, 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 you're wrong and I'm right. If you would just listen! Oh, please, you are out of line and I am not listening to your nonsense. Ah, oh, you annoy me! Oh, now you change your tone, darling. You have no manners. <laughs> oh, yeah? And so what? At least I'm right. <laughs> Sorry, honey, but I am. I hope someday you'll see the truth. This is too much! I am just trying to say that fa- Could you please keep it civil? I think we've heard enough of your silliness. Silly? Me? Well, you're stupid! <laughs> please, I know you are, but what am I? Stupid! Are you too dumb to listen? Sorry, what did you say? I could not hear it for all your foolish ramblings. Oh, maybe you're just too dumb to understand. If you'd let me explain. With all due respect, you are a simple-minded buffoon. Oh, yeah? Why don't you come over here and try saying that again, huh? 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 You steaming pile of crap! Oh, bless your heart. What I was trying to say was... On the other hand, just shut your mouth, fancy pants. Talking louder won't help you understand my side of things. Oh, I can't even hear my own thoughts over how wrong you are! If you could just see things from my point of view, we wouldn't even have this argument. Oh, get off your high horse. You have no idea what you're talking about. I don't need evidence to prove my point. It's a simple conclusion based on everyday observations and common sense. The hot air you're letting out is raising my temperature! How about a bit of silence on your part to clear the air of stupidity? Just let me talk for once, you bloated windbag! <laughs> Oh boy, this has gone on forever, hasn't it? Oh, thank God for that. Right, well, cube. So, that is the second achievement there, patient listener. So, these are called thought blocks, and obviously they're very obviously like little elevator lifts, so you get a few seconds to get on and then get off, so jump to the right. Then once it goes down, head to the left, and then you can continue upwards. Excuse me, sir. Who the hell stole the pipe from the bottom? Um, although you could have probably just made that and jumped up. Anyway, head to the right and go up. So jump up and then wait till the block comes down again. And then we can go to the right, of course, and then continue heading right until we get down. Another opinion. It looks worried. The horrible, lively music that my neighbor is playing, it is corrupting the young. I'll stay locked in here, safe in my scrap garden. So, again, um, again, I, like I said, I wouldn't bother talking to any of these or whatever. I would just go and grab the green battery, which we have done. Then continue heading on to the right. Now, these are the shards. These are basically the memory shards, except... They are little diamond balls. Um, so anytime you see a rock with like a glowing circle, you know, one of that squiggly things, just you smash it down until it no longer glows. Now, the easiest way that I can say, again, we've got to collect every one of these in every level. So there's one on the left. The easiest thing I would, the, or the, the easiest thing I would say is see how much in the top right hand corner that I am on. So you should now be on 16.3% as well. If not, you've probably missed one just somewhere, so uh, yeah. So that's the easiest way. Every time we go to collect one, you should be on the same uh, percentage as me. Um, so we head up now to, <laughs> to the right anyway. Look, who's that? Huh? La, 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 that's our nightmare. And the reason the mind is stuck. So that is the jester who is basically like the... Your sort of arch nemesis now throughout the entirety of the game. 
these enemies, what they'll do as soon as you see them charging up, they are basically going to smash down and explode you. So obviously they are basically enemies now for the rest of the game. Uh, easy enough to deal with, but still a pain in the bum. So grab these memory shards here, should be 22.9, and then grab the red battery from the right hand side. Now, uh, I think there was an update, because what you would have had to have done before was put the green battery in, but of course what they'd done was just pop a bridge over and yeah, so this this version of the game is um, updated. Like I said, uh, on the old one there was a couple of times where there was no bridges, where there was a bridge, etc, etc, but it's only small things they changed luckily. Uh, anyway, go to the left, uh, you don't actually have to pick up the green battery, we pretty much don't need it. Um, it is only the red battery that we need in order to take down the enemy. Take down the enemy. Put it in this uh, little lovely device. There's peace in the valley again. As a small token of my appreciation, feel free to take anything you need from my scrap garden. Woohoo! Free stuff! And all it cost me was crapping my pants through enemies. Anyway, there's only one thing that we need, even though we could sell this for quite a lot of money. But it's the pipe that we need, so thank you, opinionative opinion man. So obviously what we're going to do is head back to the left and stick the pipe on our little uh, flying gizmo machine thing. But obviously you can't just, you have to wait until this one goes up in the middle. And apparently we just need to go to the left, which I decided not to do there. Now do it, so head to the left, pop the pipe on. And then just make your way back up so you can fly gently, calmly like a cloud Six. to the top. Is no longer a pipe dream. Great work, big guy. Now let's find a perspective switch. Huh? You know that thing that Mary Relic told us about? It's gotta be around here somewhere. I thought it was going to be further than that. Literally could have just made a jump for it or climbed on the rocks. God damn it. Anyway, so there's Jester. Like I said, he is the main enemy of the game. Um, so smash this memory shard here. That should be all she wrote. And there's going to be a couple of enemies just up above as well. Uh, but you should be on 32.7 for the shards. Oh. Oh. So after that, we cross the bridge and there's another little memory shard. Not there, that's umbrellas. You don't need to kill the umbrellas. Uh, here's the next memory shard then. And once, <laughs> there you go, apparently getting my frustrations out right there. So once done, that's 39.2 you should be on. Then we are going to do this little thought block thing. So we're actually gonna go up first. Then we're gonna kick this button just once, head back down, go left, and then we are going to go down once more. There she blows, go to the right. And then we're going to make our way up. We basically just after this little blue battery here. So we can drop, uh, jump down, get the blue battery. And then go ahead and make your way back. Man, the mine's persistent around here, huh? All thanks to having a clear goal. So make sure to kick this light twice. Uh, and that will put the light, as you can see, to the right hand side, which is exactly what we need. And then you're more, and then you more than happy to just continue on to the right, and job's done. Pop the blue battery in, and off you go. Phew. Good work, Dusty. Come at me, fanboys. So fly anymore. So yeah, I don't know if you've noticed, but the best way to deal with these enemies is dodge, attack, dodge, attack, dodge, attack, dodge, attack. It's just easier. A and X. 
and that always goes well. So this is the perspective switch then. So every time that you find one of these, as you can see in the top right, it says closed minded. Um, as we head down to the right, there's basically going to be a memory shard in this area. Screw this guy. Uh, the memory shard is just next to the house, so make sure to grab this. But when you hit that perspective switch, um, it'll turn to open minded, which sometimes it'll help because opinions will help you. Other times they won't. Anyway, 49% we should be on. Uh, once you attack it, you can also see that once it goes red. I think that's red. Looks red. That means we are now open minded. That means that, again, some ways, um, some bridges appear, some platforms go down, etc. So we're going to be using a lot of this throughout the entirety of the game. We will get our first memory achievement here as well, remembering of the past. A house is such a big commitment. More like naive and acted. And we should now be on 54.2%. So, pick up El Orangeo, El Batiajo, uh, hit the perspective switch, I'm just going to call it the, the switch from now on, because we all know what it is. Drop down and enter your orange battery and cross Le Bridge. More like it, open-minded is the best state. Closed-minded is. Okay, so, now we're going to hit the purse switch again. And then we'll go to the right, now that the doorway has been opened, or the, the gate's been lowered, whatever. Hit the button here, that's basically going to get the platform over to the left-hand side. Then we can head back down the bridge. Hit the switch again. And then we can, nice close-minded, nice open-minded. Then we can get the memory shards here, so smash these until it all unlights itself. Again, make sure to be grabbing them all. Very easy to just miss one. And that should put us on 67.3%. Then you can hit the button again and cross the bridge. See? Closed state gets things done. Best state. Make way. Courage coming through. The bridge is closed. Everyone should stay where they belong. No stray thoughts. <sighs> this opinion won't let us through. Maybe you'll behave differently if... So, as you can see, because we are closed-minded, he's not going to let us over the bridge. So what we need to do is go down, smash this memory shard first of all. There we go. And grab these couple here. Go to the right, hit the button to go upwards. Collect the rest of the shards, which should put us at 73.9. Then you can hit the switch. The perspective, the old perspectoroni, the old pepperoni. And then he will now say, oh, man, I'm so open-minded. Yeah, cross the bridge, dog. Can you open the bridge now, please? The bridge is open. Let the thoughts wander freely. There is another memory shard, and we're going to get another achievement here as well. So hit the memory shard first. But you see these little cocoa bulbs, they're basically cocoa bulbs on the trees. Just hit one and make sure one hits you in the head. And that will get you the Ouch That Hurt achievement. So there's a lot of these trees about. If you didn't get it now, don't worry. Just make sure to find a tree with one of those bulbs on it. And make sure it hits you in the head. So again, should be on 80.4%. And now we're actually going to be coming up to the first out of quite a few Jester boss fights in just a little bit. Uh, these balls here are going to go from left to right. So obviously just dodge and avoid. Let's go! The show is about... Don't get your hopes up, Piper. And these big old white balls you can just smash down. So, uh, we will head to the left. Again, there is another memory shard. If you don't have that Cocoa Bulb achievement, there's another two trees here for you to grab that. 86.9 um, is what you should be on, as you can see. Head down to the right again. Smash the balls, hit the perspective switch. And continue upwards and onwards. In angst. Finally, out of the ball pit. Where's that nightmare? And there's going to be another big memory rock right here to smash. Smash and grab. 
lots pop out of there. Again, make sure to be grabbing health anytime you see the green orbs as well. And that should put us on a nice 100%. Now, you don't get anything for that. You want to get the memory for when you unlock it halfway through at 50%. And now, this is the first um, sort of phase boss fight. Great voice actors, by the way, the jesters. Both of them. Extraordinary. What? Me? Wasn't the mind better before that annoying kid and boring wife showed up? No worries. No chores. Just, just party. party. Now everything is just messed up and dull. Are you done yet? Not at all. We're here to shake things up. Woo! Okay, so first of all then, what you need to do is obviously avoid the ball. So you need to go to the left. It's going to stop, but continue on with the left, then go uh, to the right. Now go to the left. Next up, there's going to be a bunch of singular balls that are going to go sort of back and forth and everywhere. So just stay on the outer edge as much as you can, just to avoid these. And then eventually they'll stop, the balls next to the jester will uh, disperse, and then we can hit the jester quite a few times. Next, they're just going to be sort of dancing and spinning around you. So again, it's just a case of trying to avoid, dodge wherever possible. The fear of clowns. Done and dusted. Phew! Great work! Just another day at the office. Come on! Yeah! What? Alright, we've had our fun! Round of applause for me! Woo! Come on! Oh, apparently the fun in you can never be destroyed. That is a great little metaphor right there. No matter how hard you try to destroy the fun, the fun inside you will never go away. That's good. Right. Um, so, yeah. So, I really enjoyed that one. I just got that. That's great. So, let us head down. We are going into a new Aria. And we get the achievement Fight Like an Idiot as well for dealing with the Jester in Conviction Lane. Up the mountain. We need to go talk some nonsense into the mind. Time to do like a banana and split. Woo! Two face ran this way. They're heading towards the moral compass. Time to do like a banana and split. Nice, nice. I like it. Right. So, what we're going to do is hit the switch first of all. And then we can go up and then to the right here. Uh, that's going to enable us to hit this button. That'll get the little bridge down so we can go uh, back around, hit the perspective switch again, and that'll get the thought blocks moving. I thought of a funny thought. But uh, I don't actually know what it is. My brain is mush right now. Right, so away we go. Over to the right. Couple of enemies to deal with here. Welcome to Confetti. We're on the right track. Right, so hit the button. That is going to get the perspective switch over to us. We're going to give that a little whack. That'll stop the thought blocks. So we can now hit the switch again. Go over to the right. And we can deal with these two enemies. So next 
step, hit the switch here, the perspective switch, and then we are going to go oh, upwards. Me. So much less distracting. But what if you need to be inspired? And when we get to the top, make sure to hit this rock here for an, the next bunch of memory pearls. They look more like memory pearls, if anything. Uh, but that should put us on to 12 and a half. Hit the perspective switch and head over. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Again, some more bulbs there if you need that achievement. Um, otherwise, we're going, coming up to a new enemy. Now, these rockets you can actually hit with your sword. And that will rebound the rockets back into the cannon's path. And I just decided to do it the absolute long mong way. Ow. As we go up here, there's going to be another cannon on your left we have to deal with. Batter up, Dusty! That cannon is about to bite the bullet. You're fired! And before moving on, go to the right, just behind these rocks, to find this uh, memory rock shard. There's quite a few of these that uh, can easily be missed, so obviously just pay attention. But you should now be on 25%. As we head to the left, and we can go ahead and speak. Well, we can speak to the opinion, but uh, you can. He's just talking about being stuffed. Well, don't we all like being stuffed? Um, so, <laughs> no, thank you for that. So once you've hit the perspective switch and you are closed minded, uh, more enemies are going to appear here. A couple of rockets and this one angry, jumpy dude. Oh. Guys, keep coming! Now, just before grabbing the battery, what you're gonna do is head down this little hill path here to grab the next memory rock. Or apparently, no, there we go. So yeah, make sure to grab this little memory rock first. And again, another thing which will come in handy, especially for later on in the game, the rockets that shoot at you can actually deflect those into other enemies as well. So other enemies hurt enemies in this game, which is just grande. So got the orange battery, pop that in. Should be on 37.5% as well for the memory pearls. And then up we go. Du, 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 du. Let's hit that switch again. So we are now nice and open-minded. So what we're going to do then is hit the perspective switch in front of us. Go to the left and we're going to pick up the blue battery. And now what we can do is, next to the perspective switch, you can put this blue battery in again, as I said. That'll get it going, flowing, showing. Now, we're going to head up, and I think i kind of done this a bit, um, a bit longer than I should I could have done, to be honest. A gentleman is someone who can play the Uh-huh. But either way, we're going to hit the perspective switch again. As you can see, the house turned, uh, the house just there, the top of the house turned around. That'll enable us now to get the memory rock that was holding it full of pearls. So once we've grabbed all them, that'll get us to a nice 50% and another memory. If your work can't wait. So this is where I realized then that I'd messed up. Uh, well, not messed up, but I just forgot to bring the blue battery with me. Um, so, yeah, we need to get the blue battery when the perspective switches at the top. That's, yeah, that's why I could have done this uh, <laughs> this part a little bit quicker. Need to wait for the lift to get at the top, take the blue battery, and then, yeah. So, anyway, we got there in the end. We're all good. So pop the blue battery in. That'll get the lift going, and then that'll be us on our way up. And there's going to be some more enemies to face off here. Three cannons. So just be careful. And obviously, if you can, just take one at a time. Or if you're feeling brave heart, take off three. <laughs> you showed those loose cannons. Stop! So are we. Now the cheeky little memory rock is gonna be here, so make sure to hit this one just to the left of the house. And oh it looks like a question mark or a hook or something. But it's actually 62.5% 
of our merry little way. Uh, so as we continue forward, oh, you probably know what's coming. Yes, so hit the perspective switch, head upstairs, and we actually need to do a little puzzle in order to get an opinion onto the switch and in order for us to go up. So let us head up. I could really use some help with yep. the elevator over there. I'm no sheep. I'm not Pfft. anyone. You are a sheep because you're a hairy little balzac. So hit the perspective switch, speak to him again, and he's going to follow us. Now, how we do this is we need to go down the stairs, go to the left first, uh, so he gives us a, a, a bit of time. So there was a bit of an edit there as I tried figuring it out, but stay out to the left and then quickly run over to the right onto the left, and then you can hit the perspective switch, and that will get us going. So he basically stops for a second on it going... Well, this is a lot, mum. Oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, hit the umbrellas, apparently, and the memory rock. Again, apparently getting some proper frustration out there. Uh, so 81.3% is what we should be on there. Pick up the orange battery and snake tail it down. We're playing snakes and ladders. And when we get down here, there is another memory rock there, which should put you to a nice, juicy... Burger King sized 100%. There is another orb. It's just to the left. So it should put you on 100%. Bring on the buckets. That's why I'm here. Oh man, that started to get a little tense up in here. So yes, as we continue on, the enemies are going to get more angry with us, apparently. So when we get here then, um, we will head to the right. Going to pop this orange battery in. That's going to get the lift going. And then up we plop, like a big chop toffee shop. And we are now to some... Uh, this is the last bit of this area, actually. So what we're going to do is close, uh, open the mind, and then we're going to put the... Uh, just kick the first one once until the light bulb is on the right-hand side. Hit the switch again and head up. Head up to the right, and then what you're going to do is kick this switch. That will get the bridge down. And now what you need to do is basically get the lift in the middle up to the top. So when we go down, we're going to hit the perspective switch again. And then what we're going to do is hit the first switch once. We're going to hit the second switch twice. And then the last switch we're going to hit once. So as there was a bit of an edit because I did mess up there. But it's the first one once. Kick the second one twice. And then kick the third one once. And then that'll get you this little bridge. And up we go. Sorry. Finally at the top. I hate stairs. The moral compass is up ahead. Oh no. Sounds like the jester's already there. Don! 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 When was the last time you played the ukulele? Hear me, mind! Every night will be a glorious party! Answer me! Don't you want to have fun? Hey, jester. I've got a joke for you. I'm sure you'll enjoy the punchline. Uncompassing, 
I like it! Not something you see elsewhere in the mind these days! Hey! Join our party, Dust Bowl! Join you? Ha! Huh, you are funny! Yeah! You're breaking the mind, Nightmare! Nightmare? <laughs> Please! The mind is stuck in its old rigid ways! Just like you two! Lion up and let loose! Enough one-liners. My sword is gonna crack you up. Do you even hear yourself? You're laughable! Okay, so it's another phase of the boss fight. Jester's back for some fun. So what he's gonna do is just shoot these balls at you. So again, just dodge. And then hilariously, I don't know how to say this, but he's going to shoot his balls at you. Yes, he's going to try and hit you with his balls. Um, uh, you can just hit him then, but um, once his balls have hopefully not hit you anywhere, uh, especially in the face, you can just hit him and, uh, yeah, make of that what you will. But I ain't saying a ting. <laughs> I'm getting bored! You can fight the urge to be free, but you'll never kill it! You have no idea what I can do. Boring! You've got to work on your routine! I'm out of here! Come hit me up when you're ready to party down! Yeah! Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> 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 uh, they got away! Again! I don't think your sword is working. Oh, it will. I just... Just help me find a way to get up there. Dusty, look! The moral compass is broken. All the cardinal stones are missing. Piper, focus! How do we get to the jester? The compass isn't supposed to be all flat. Without the stones, it won't work. The mind will lose connection to its core beliefs. So the stones will make the compass grow, huh? Sounds to me like a way to get to the jester. Let's find some cardinal stones. Oh, thank God the balls to the face have stopped. I, I couldn't handle another... I couldn't handle any more balls. The only balls I can handle are chicken balls. Mmm. Mmm. Chicken balls. Deep fried and greasy. Right, so what we need to do is basically go to... Well, three different levels after this one. You can press the B button, it's not going to work. But we need to find these um, companion stones, or whatever they call them. So hit the switch here, and we can go over the piano. Again, if you need some health, grab some health there. And as we continue forward then, we basically just have to get this next pin in here in order to help us release the hairy little nutbags. But hmm, trapped under a heavy thought, eh? a heavy thought like this one. Sometime in the future, someone will say your name for the last time. Oh, that is a heavy thought, isn't it? Uh, anyway, hit this button. I'm going to be saying a few of these random ones as we continue onwards. Uh, so you hit the button there, gets the bridge going, ignore the door. Nobody cares. Go up and hit this next button. That's going to get the other piece of the bridge down. Hit the perspective switch. And now, of course, we can... Yeah, damn it, I didn't mean to uh, knock on the door. But now we can get the other opinion to come and help us. Now, another funny thought is, a uh, heavy thought, sorry, is, deaf people probably don't understand why farts are funny. Oh, sorry, that was, the ter that was a terrible one. Anyway, once you're across the bridge, press the B button on the heavy thought to release the opinion of all these weird ones. Helping, helping. Okay, let's rock. Uh, there we go. You're free again, Opinion. Yeah, that was the weight off my shoulders. I think I might need a chiropractor. Yeah! Way to go, Dusty! You do have other tricks up your sleeve than your sword. Well, I don't know. I, I feel so light. Warm. Whoa! What's going on? Ooh! Oh, wow. Oh! Whoa! Ooh! Stone. 
alone. Helping that opinion must have generated it. Not sure. Wasn't it just hiding under the thought block? It... I... I somehow feel light and heavy at the same time. <laughs> the Cardinal Stone is a powerful object, but it belongs at the Moral Compass. Yeah, so it does, Piper. I will return it. <laughs> Whatever. Ah, Cardinal Stone, that's the one, that's what it's called. Right, so we've got our first one then. So what we can do is, uh, we not, we don't have to speak to these guys again now. <laughs> I bet that was a weight off your shoulders. Uh, ha, very funny one. Um, so we don't actually have to hit the perspective switch, sorry. We're just going to go back to the left, and we're going to head into the next level. Top left corner, pop the Cardinal Stone in, and off we draw, bro. The Cardinal Stone must belong here. It'll restore the mind's sense of compassion. <gasps> oh, the compass is growing! I feel it. The moral compass is aligning itself. Hey, honey. Are you sleeping? I'm sorry about your bedtime story tonight. I'll read you a really good one tomorrow, okay? Why are you and Mom yelling all the time, Dad? Don't you love each other anymore? Don't worry, honey. We both love you very much. Now, sleep tight. Piper, the mind is starting to change. Is this a flow of kindness I'm feeling? Like a bridge to a strange, uncharted place inside me. Whoa! The energy from that cardinal stone really affected you, Dusty. Yes, I felt the cadence of the compass core. A profound connection to the mind. Let's... Let's smash the jester's sorry circus butt into pieces. And he's back. <laughs> Maybe try to hold on to that feeling a little longer, buddy. No time. If we can get the compass a bit higher, we can get to the jester. Look, we can go that way now. So what we're going to do then is just continue heading down to the left until we get to the new area. I think that house belongs... Let's see if we can find another one of those scattered cardinal stones. Ah, this is the place I neutered the fear of dogs. Oh, right. That had a chapter in Dusty's Dust Ups. Yeah, I made a lot of nightmares bite the dust back in the day. A simpler time. Oh yeah, the ethics maze is just down the stairs. Where the new opinions need to prove themselves before being Somebody accepted flying? into the mind. That place should be packed with wisdom. We can probably find a cardinal stone in there. Huh. The entrance looks blocked. Yeah. Look at that giant queue of gray unapproved opinions. I don't think they can get in. Let's find another way around. just <laughs> So this level is about 10 minutes long before we get into the ethics maze, which is about half an hour long. Plus there's an achievement tied to not getting lost in the maze, which again is easier than it sounds once you follow me. Anyway, head up, you can see what's coming. Now this cannon here, you cannot destroy it. It cannot get destroyed. Um, so you can try as you might, but it will never get destroyed. So what we need to do is obviously trick it um, to hitting stuff, hitting switches and hitting memory shard so the first one you're gonna hit is this memory shard here so just stand in front of it until it shoots all of these shards out and that should put you on 15.8 of the percentage now we can head up to the right now you can see what kind of looks like um little you know baseball square things where you got to hit the yeah as you can tell i'm not very baseballish but you know the squares on the floor when you go and play baseball so what you need to do then is just wait on that square until the rocket shoots at you. That will hit the perspective switch and that will open up the gate which is currently locked. A 
And now we are actually going to be playing some baseball when we get to batter up. Make sure to be, uh, make, make sure Dusty is pointing towards the perspective switch to smash that open and continue onwards to the left. Couple of enemies are going to be appearing here, so just be ready. Lots of cannons, which remember, you can, um, obviously we need to be hitting it down. There we go. So obviously, like I said, a couple of enemies are going to appear here, so the rockets can hurt these dudes, uh, which does help. But, you know, just be careful. Try and get rid of the rockets as well if you can. Make sure not to go through just yet, because as you can see, there is another memory shard which we have to get destroyed. Now, batter up! Batter up, boys! Point your character, point, point Dusty towards the perspective machine. Give it a hit. Sometimes it can be a little weird, though, when you're trying to stand in a position where to get the rocket in the right place, and then you've got to try and go behind it. It uh, can be a little bit finicky and a little bit awkward, but uh, it'll be done eventually. There we go. So now, after collecting these uh, memory pearl shards, it should be on 31.6%, and then just do the same. Hit the perspective switch with the rocket, and to the right we go. We's all good, blood. Makes all the difference. The best things in life aren't things, mate. Don't strive to have the best things, but to make the best of what you have. Ugh. Right, mate. Hit the switch. Smash the switch open again, and then, hmm. Where you going, you little nuts? Give me my sword back. Our sword. Looks like there are some downsides to being close, mate. Okay, so we don't have a sword for the minute, so what we're going to do is uh, just do a little bit of avoidance. We made it around. Look, it's the entrance to the ethics maze. The maze has been shut down. We can't go in. If only I had my sword, I could cut the line. So just stand, of course, on the batter upper and wait till the rocket hits the switch. That will, of course, open up the gate. And we are going to do the same thing here. Oh, actually, sorry. So what we need to do then is um, hit the perspective switch again. And where the rocket's going, quickly nip over to the right side. That will get the gate open. And there's the thief man. So what the thief is about to do is come up to a new enemy. So... This spinning top, every time it sees you, it will spin towards you. You obviously need the sword to beat it when it gets a little stunned, like that, as it were. So, for this part then, head up, hit the button. That's going to just pop the bridge back down for us. So what we need to do is we need to get... Huh. You are stupid. I mean, on that island, you literally could have probably just climbed up and then jumped over, but... You know, what do I know? So what we need to do then is stand in front of the perspective switch and get the spinning saw top to hit said switch. These do pack a bit of a punch, so try and avoid, try, do, try to do your best to avoid them. As you can see, my health took a considerable amount of damage. So that'll open up the way for us. We can now go to the left. <laughs> I need some health. Arr! So go to the left, pick up the orange battery, and then, sadly, we're going to have to do the same thing. Stand in front of the switch again and wait for Spinning Boy to hit it so we can go through and then upwards. And there it is. So pop the orange battery and then that'll get the tiniest little bridge down. But we can get our sword back, finally. Our little wooden sword. So um, now if we go up, we don't, again, we don't have to knock on the door. Um, but we actually need the memory, uh, sort of memory rock there. So we go towards the opinion and head all the way around. That one, again, can very easily be missed.
So that's lovely. That's a nice 42.1% you should be on. Uh, pick up the orange battery again. Get yourself some health here if you need it. As it turns out, <laughs> yes, I need it quite a lot. Um, again, you don't have to, but I'm going to just uh, hit the opinion with my sword. Just because you, you steal stuff. I want to castrate you. You son of a biscuit. Anyway, so once that's done, then we are now going to go around the sort of rest of this little island and pick up. We're actually going to kill this dude first. So again, just wait until he stops and then give him a whack. And then do the same thing. So again, these will be from now until the end of the game, effectively. And that's how you beat them then. Nice and easy. So hit the perspective switch and hit, go to the left first in order to get this next memory shard. And then what this should do is put us on a... Oh, a new memory, apparently. You got the job? That's such great news! But there we go, so that should be 63.2%. There we go, tidy boys. Right, on our way to the right, pop the orange battery in. That will get the, again, tiniest bridge ever down. And then we go up the bridge to get this next memory rock. And only a couple in here, so that's fine, but that's now going to put us on 737 .7. So again, make sure that you should still be on the same amount of uh, percentage that I am. If you are, then that's great. It means you're doing very good. Right, hit this next memory shard. Watch out for the rockets, though. Um, again, you need to be opening up the way anyway. So that's 89.5 you should be on. Now stand on the old batter up, pitcher upper, and hit it towards the perspective switch. And we're into the middle. Make sure to hit this bit of memory shard now. Or memory rock or whatever. And as we spin it around. Ba -ba -bom, that's nine, That's 100% baby. 100%. And then we can just go through. Press the X button. And go through to the ethics maze. Meanwhile while we're here. Let's think of another heavy, heavy thought. Outer space isn't actually empty. It pretty much literally contains everything there ever is and ever will be. Hmm, interesting. So, this maze, like I said, now you can... So basically, you've got to go through the maze without coming back to the same area. Um, obviously, we can go to one area in order to grab um, some shards, but we can't actually go through... We can't go through to the same puzzle. Um, now, if that does happen, and you accidentally take a wrong turn in, or you fly onto a wrong book or whatever, you can just press start, go to the main menu, and reload checkpoint. And it will start you a little bit before, so... But again, hopefully if you're just following it along, you shouldn't have many issues, if any at all. Three trails of wisdom! That pattern must mean something. So, let's begin. Let's do it. Head to the left, top left-hand side book first. And that'll get us flying over. Now, these th these contain a lot of puzzles, a lot of enemies, etc. So, hit the books in this order then. The one on the right, the one on the bottom, and then the one on the left. You can press the B button to kick if you want, or the X button to hit, whatever it is. But go to the top right-hand side of the books and fly up. Now, all you got to do is just dodge the balls and the wrenches and just stand on the middle button. That's going to get the books down. And then this time, we're going to go continue going to the top right. Oh, books is knowledgeable. Right, spiky time. Obviously, when it's lit up, it's going to spike up. So just be careful. Hit the red button. And then this time, we're going to go to the top left. And then when we get to the top left, we're going to get some enemies for the first time. Three of these douchen dags and bags. And... Let's see what's behind the door. 
So that's going to open up a new doorway and we face a new enemy. So he's basically, um, well, he's basically a, the world's strongest man who looks conveniently and incredibly pissed off. So grab some health here before you go and grab him if you need it. So what he's going to do is just try and hit you with this. Um, it's going to, first time we'll always get stuck. So you go up, give him a hit a few times. And then the second phase, he starts getting a little bit quicker. So just... Dodge and avoid until he sticks it in the ground again. Hit him on the ball head. And luckily for us, he brings with him a ton of health. So this is basically the first of three trials that has been completed. Now, every time here will be a different way to get across the books. So the first time, what you need to do is just stand on each block for about two seconds until it lights up, then go to the next one. And then just do this all the way through. And that's the first trial complete. Someone's got to be the brain around here. So make sure to hit the memory rock here on the right hand side before we move on. Again, a lot of these can just be easily missed, especially if you're just trying to look forward. Anyway, that's going to put us on 9.5%. The pattern changes. Hmm. Right, mate, let's do it. Second trial, top right-hand corner there. And let us fly with the eyes on the burk. Right, it gets a little bit more complicated here, but that's fine. So what we'll do is hit the bottom one first, obviously avoiding the balls as well. And then hit the very top one. And then that's all that one is. So uh, next, we're going to go top right again. Fly with the eye in a cream pear. Right, so now with these ones, what you have to do is hit them in a specific and particular order. So hit the uh, two there, then the gold one on the left, go to the opposite side, uh, sort of three over, and then hit the red one, go down directly opposite the red one. Then you can hit the last one, the blue one, and hit the only other one there. So it's basically black, black, green, or yellow, red, and then blue or purple, whatever that color is. Not good with colours, sorry. My eyes are bzzzed. A bit silly they are. Right, kill the enemies. Again, remember the spinning tops can hurt these jumpy, smashy dudes. So use that to your advantage. And then head to the top left of the books. See? Flying through it, man. No problem, no problem, no. Another map room. So yeah, just stay here on the top right-hand corner. Another heavy thought coming up. Now, funnily enough, your stomach thinks that all potatoes are mashed. They know none the wiser. So grab the couple of memory shards and a bit of health here if you need it, 14.6%, then take the bottom left book down. And then when we get here again, avoiding the balls to the face, nobody likes a bow to the face, and then go top left. So the books are getting Morio. So first one we're going to hit then is the one to the left of where we uh, got off the book. Then the next one to it, and then the top right, and then the top left. 
So hopefully that made sense and you could follow along easily and then hit the top left buck again and go for another fly. Right, a bit more spikies this time. They get a bit more quicker. So just wait until it goes down and then you should be good to go around and hit the red button. Right, so once we've hit that then, what we're going to do is go to the right of the spikes. And we're going to take this uh, right-hand side book. And simply and lovingly, we're coming up to another puzzle. So I'm going to tell you which ones to hit. So hit the one directly to the right of where we just got off. Then over to the right-hand side. Then one basically at the very top. And that'll get the four books coming again. And then we're going to go to the top right book once more. No problem, lad. Right, so the spikes are getting quicker again, but once again, just hit the red button. And then this time we're going to be taking the top left path. Ooh, a bunch of shards! Mmm, delicious bowels in my mouth. 19.6% is what you should be on when you have delicately smashed the balls. <laughs> Too many easy jokes and puns, but that should be 19.6 that you're on. From here, we're going to the right after getting spiked. Oh, but that pinched a bit, didn't it? Jesus. Right. Four of these crashy boys and a spinning saw top to deal with here. Oh. So that's one of two done. So once we head uh, to the left, we are going to be faced with some more enemies. This time it's two spinning tops. So we're going to be coming up to another achievement as well now. So it's basically that big strongman angry dude with a bunch of these enemies about. So what you need to do is just let the strongman bruh hit one of these enemies. So wherever an enemy is, um, as soon as he's about to hit it down, just make sure that an enemy is underneath the attack thing. And that'll get the slammer. Sorry, that's what it's called. The slammer destroying an enemy. So just get underneath and then continue on your way. So you'll have to kill these. And that's the second trial done. For the dance. Yeah, nice moves, Dusty. That was some fight. So this time around, then you need to take two steps forward and one step back, and that's how you do this. So go over to the second block, then take one step back, then to the third, move to the second, then to four, then to three, then to five, then to four, and that is you 
done. So, while we hit the 120 mark, here's another heavy thought. So, in order to fall asleep, you have to pretend to be asleep. That's, that makes sense, right? Because you sort of close your eyes and go, ah, and then all of a sudden you wake up. Your hair's everywhere. If you're a woman, no doubt your boobs probably hanging out of your vest top. If, if you're a guy, no doubt your balls probably squished around on the bed somewhere, just waking up in the morning going, what the hell happened? Anyway, we crash now. Engine page. <gasps> the book's gonna crash, Dusty! Hold on! Whoa! Whoa! <sighs> what a thriller! Did you land all right, Piper? I'm a bird, Dusty. Fresh rejects. Welcome home, friends. Home? What? No! We need to get back up to the maze. You belong here now. You'll never be discarded again. Yikes! A place for those who didn't make it through the maze? Uh, we shouldn't be here. In the ditch, everyone belongs and no one leaves. Ever. You're one of us now. I don't think so. Let's book a flight out of here. This is from the flying book. It seems the engine page has been ripped in four. The other three pieces must be down here too. The book's broken. It's missing its engine page. Poor little book. The engine page. Coming through. Disperse this crowd. Hey, not your turn. I got things to say. No, me. We are all beautiful beliefs, but <laughs> I just want to sing. No, I want to go. La la la. Okay, enough already. Man, we won't be able to pass. So this is only a very short area, we basically just have to collect four engine pages and a whole lot of memory shards. So the first thing we're going to do here then, we're going to, this is the, um, where the next page is, so you can speak to him if you want, it's not really necessary. Um, but what we're going to do is basically head sort of left and down. So if we start heading left and down, then start going up. What you're going to see eventually, up in this left area, is... Well, that, that boat looks very familiar. It. Uh, but here's another piece of the engine page. And then what we'll do is head down. And then there's going to be a big, like, notebook on the floor here. So make sure to pick up this empty notebook. And on the left is some more memory rock. So we're going to give the memory rock a little bash, twash, dash and cash. And that'll put us up to 25.9%. Next, what we can do then is go all the way up. In fact, what we could have done was just grab the notebook first, grab the page, and then done this. But what we need to do is open your inventory and give her the, the empty notepad. As to whether you have made the right decision or done the right thing. I think everyone does. Not me. Could you write some of your generic self-help truth stuff down for me? Sure. I live to spread the gospel. Here we go, man. Tiny boys. Spank your hairy crutch. You are pretty hairy. Right, go back to the dude with the engine page and give him the self-help book and he will finally give us hey, said sorry. engine page. Have a look at this. You pride yourself as an independent thinker and do not accept other statements Without satisfactory proof. Whoa. This is so true for me. Yeah, right? That's totally you! If someone wrote it down, it must be true! This must be my horoscope! Okay. Yeah, you can have this old engine thingy. It was kind of grinding my gears anyway. Finally! Only one more piece of the engine and... Spanking your hairy crutch as well. Right, so we're gonna head to the right. Uh, we're actually going for another memory rock. There it is, all the way to the right. So pick this one up. And after we uh, chuck all the pearls, the old pearl necklace as it were, that should be 32.3%. Now there is another one which is going to be just down. So if we start heading to the left and make sure to be looking down in between these little mushroom house things there is going to be another one 
uh, I did end up going a little bit too far here. This one we've already done, of course. But the next one should be below us somewhere. There it is. So again, this is very, very well hidden. But just make sure to smash this one out. Get your literal pearl necklace there around your neck. <laughs> and that's 38.6. And then what we can do is finally talk to the final of the hairy bros. Hey, what's happening? Have you seen a piece of paper around here? I give the orders, you follow them. You see? A bit bossy, are we? Now, take me to my employees. You think you can do that? Man, just listen for a second! Hot hot! A ship is missing its lighthouse. Move it, gunk. <sighs> I want you to give me a hundred and ten percent. Right, so what we could do now is head back to the orchestra or the choir of Harry Bras. Um you can then go ahead, grab the engine page, interact that with... Oh, in fact, actually, we're going to grab the memory rock before. They are going to start singing a song about Peter or something, so you can listen to that for a few minutes, or we're just going to just move on. So, yeah, there is one more memory rock that we're going to grab, which is going to be in the left corner. Let's tell our friends what we really are. And there it is. So we almost missed that, actually, the, the first time I played through this part. Uh, but once you grab that and all the pearls, that should be 44.9. Then grab the engine page, interact with the book, and get the fudge on out of here for trial three. Okay, book. Let's get you back on your wings. Uh, 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 uh. Get it flat. I think it likes you, Dusty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just get out of this place. <sighs> Up and away. I hope we never see that place again. I can't believe those opinions were so happy to be there. Probably the only place they've ever been accepted. Whew. We're coming back to the surface. Some detour. Have anything to say to the useless book? Huh? Well, uh, I guess it's not too bad. For a book. <laughs> Let's complete the third trial and find out what's wrong with this maze! Righto, on to the top right-hand corner of the book. And this is the last one we're going to do. Puzzles do. There's one specific one that gets a little bit tricky. I'll try to explain my best when we get there. But kill the enemies. And with those complete, we are now going to go to the top right book. Top rack. Top book. And we're just going to grab a whole bunch of more shards. We'll grab there. My English is fantastic again, as always. Anyway, this will be 50% at least and unlock another memory. Board and your treehouse is done. What a great weekend we've had. Just you and I. But there we go, should actually be 55.1%. So hit the left lower book down again. I do, I love the inspiration of words. And now we're going to go top left this time. Make you stink. They make you think, they can make you stink. Right, so this is the spinning one. Gets a little bit tricky and a little bit complicated, but what you can actually do is we need to first find the one with the blue one. And then hit the the next one with the blue one. So it's normally about sort of four things away. If you end up finding the wrong one, you can hit it again to turn it off. So as you can see, we need the red one next. Go across and hit the red one. Next up, we are going to go for the yellow one. So again, if you hit the black one, hit it again to turn it off. Then go ahead and hit the golden one. And then finally hit it with the black one. Again, that can be 
slightly complicated, but the fact you can turn them off uh, if you hit the wrong one is good because it doesn't make too much of a difference. So it doesn't like stall any progress or anything. So top left book for some more enemies and a cannon which cannot be destroyed. Now we're going to head for the top right book. Just another quick, uh, one of Welshie's heavy thoughts. Nothing is on fire, fire is on things. Eh? So next time we go, oh my god, that book's on fire. Just go, oh the fire's on that book. Oh my god, my, my hair's on fire. No, fire is on your hair. Right, so this one, this puzzle's actually random. So we can see here with the holes. So basically, if you have a look at the holes, Hit the middle one. Now, when the holes are in the middle, that's obviously like a middle note. The one that's high above is the obviously higher notes, and the ones on the bottom are the lower notes. So again, it's it's all random. But if you've obviously if you've got four, as you can see, with if if you get four, then you need to. It was mi you know middle, middle, bottom, top. So again. Sorry if that was a bit of a quick explanation there. I do apologize, um, but that one is random every time. Um, I don't know why that particular one is random. Uh, it just is. Anyway, for some reason, these spikes I couldn't figure out for the bloody death of me. So I kept mashing up and somehow didn't die on this bit. So just keep dodging forward if you were anything like me and then head for the right-hand side book. You know, that last puzzle is easy when you know what you're doing, um, but I figured it... it does just need a little bit of explanation in first. Uh, so again, somehow did not die. Don't know how I done that. And again, just watch out for the balls. Hit the middle red button. I'm like part of some fiction, a figment of someone's imagination. Jeez, you really gotta stop reading so many books. So shards should be 65.2 and then go down to the left bottom again. And then when we get here, <laughs> apparently go straight into one of these bowels and then go top left. Been nothing, right? I guess we'll never know for sure. So with these rooms, if you roll like I'm going to do, these balls appear. But if you don't roll and just walk, they don't appear. So that's just a little bit of handy advice if you need it. Uh, head to the top left anyway. Top left book. And a couple of enemies here to deal with. Plus an indestructible cannon again. Right, so grab all the health you can, and then we go in top left. Not top right there, sorry, I was just grabbing a piece of health. So go to the top left. And we're going to find a lot more shards. And that should then put you on a delicious 80.4%. And then what we'll do is go back down to the bottom right-hand corner. And there we go. Nice. Right, so from here, we're now going to go top right. Dusty, does free will exist? Or are we just controlled by the mind? Right, okay. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to hit the, uh, the sort of five o'clock one first. I'm going to call it that, five o'clock. Yep, the one that looks like an L. Then go up to effectively 11 slash 12, the one that looks like a Z. And then the one to the right, which looks like a T. And then the one 
to the left from where we were, which looks like a sideways T. Yeah, that'll do. And that'll get that going. That is now uh, right-hand side buck, top right-hand side. And face off against some more enemy cannons. So grab all the health you need, of course, and then go top left again. We're not too far away now from finishing the trials, thankfully, and finally. Uh, but there are, again, a lot of shards here to collect. Do you think we're going to get to the magic 100? Can we do it? No! It's 90.5. But you should, like I said, be on 90.5. So, man, this bird, she has a lot of questions. Ones which I cannot answer. Right, so first of all, next up, we are going to now go to the bottom right book again. Or for the first time, anyway. And it's, again, this puzzle. Remember, it's the same exact way of what you've done last time, but it is random again. And this time it is top right. Oh man, it's starting to get a little stinky in here. More enemies to hit though. In fact, we've got to do three enemies, uh, three lots of enemies in order to get through the next door and end the trial. Oh my god, thank god that's over with. Right, so again, grab as much health as you want and need, and then we can just head upwards, and it is. We got a slammer with two saw bros. So as soon as this is done, the trials are ending. Yes! <laughs>
So, this must be the final trial. So yes, for all your hard work, you will get now to another 100% of shards, or you should do. These ones, you can just go straight across. It is just a shadow, so move on, and then it is job done. Now time for a Welshy heavy thought. So, in the Toy Story series, as Andy grew a little older, all of his toys actually had to sit there motionless and watch him, well, you know, touch his pee-pee and stuff. And then when he brought some ladies over, or some men, whichever one he preferred, they had to watch and... yeah. Well, anyway, that's unlucky for those toys. That's that's probably why they went to another kid in the end, I expect. So, uh, if you have completely followed everything, you will get the Your Amazing achievement. Um, and we are now going to do this little puzzle. So there's nothing for me really to explain. You've basically just got to... Keep on switching it. Keep on switching these little bits until the green light is all the way around. So just follow me, and you should have all the fun in the world. instrument turns on. Woohoo! Validation. I will serve the mind to the best of my abilities. Another cardinal stone! See? The stone was generated! Getting through the maze was an act of wisdom! Yeah, it does seem that way. I guess you got that one thing right, Birdie. You beat the maze using your smarts! I did whack a bunch of stuff. Nah, it wasn't just the whacking. Yeah, you're right. I also rolled. And we finally repaired the validation machine. Thank God. Which puts it at uh, basically just under an hour now. So pop the next cube in. Okay, here we go again. The Cardinal Stone of Wisdom. And think about that garden in the summer. Oh, we should get a swing set, too. We haven't signed yet. The budget is going to be tight. The mortgage and that student loan... We've already been over this, Angela. I can make it work. We just gotta think outside the box. Yeah, I guess.
the moral compass is aligning itself. I feel the core reverberating. Knowledge speaks. Wisdom listens. Exactly! The core knows its wisdom, so maybe you should listen. Knowledge speaks, Piper. <sighs> A bird brain! I'm up here, remember? Are you joining the front or what? Oh, just you wait. My sword is gonna crack you up. Boo! Your act is so predictable! Always doing what's expected of you! Come say hello when you're ready to make some actual change! Yeah. If we can just find one more cardinal stone, we can raise the compass high enough to get to the jester. Restored half the The Creed Valley Capital is just down the road. So, welcome then to Principal Square. Immediately we're going to get a memory rock here, but it's where we're going to get a couple more miscellaneous achievements and solve a brutal mystery that only you can solve because everyone else sucks. Looks like the opinion on justice. It has been knocked out cold. One of the other opinions must have done this. I'll beat the truth out of him. Dusty, no, we should investigate this. And listen to opinions? Sounds like a waste of time to me. Please, Dusty. Unless you don't think you can do it, chicken. Uh, you're the chicken. <sighs> Looks like we have a crime mystery on our hands. <laughs> Look, the opinion on justice dropped its detective journal and camera. I guess you want me to use that. Fine. We'll try this your way then. The crime scene is our first clue. Great! Let's add that picture to the detective journal. Okay, detective. We can keep track of the clues here as we gather them. Should help us establish the events surrounding the crime so we can solve it. Hmm. The opinion on justice is our victim. It can't be the culprit. You're right. Turn its photo so we know it's out of the picture. There we go. So yes, we won't be using this book too much, but you just flip the picture with the A button, close the journal with the open and close with the Y button. That's all. Excuse me. Um, so we will actually need to sometimes knock a door and talk to opinions about it. But we're going to head up first of all and interact with the glass cane. And then we're going to go down eventually. There we go. We don't need to pick it up. So we go down, head down to the left to find a shovel. A rusty old shovel. Makes my... And then we can head up, go to the r top right hand side to find a rusty knife. Call that a knife. This is a knife. That's not a knife, that's a spoon. I uh, see so you played knifey spoony before. Very, carry on then. Uh, so grab the memory shards here. This will be 28%. And then we can go straight down and go across the bridge. Uh, but we'll open up the journal first of all, actually, before we do that. And we can press the A button on the rusty knife and the fragile glass cane. And then we can cross the bridge. Great deduction, detective. If we use this approach, we should be able to solve the crime. I'm on the case. So we need to be looking for a bunch of clues. The first one here, shimmering underneath us, is the start of the footprint trail. So press the B button to examine it. Um, and then we can just continue heading down to the steps. And it's about time for another, well, she heavy thought. If you drop soap on the floor, is the floor clean or is the soap dirty? Hmm, think about it. There's been a crime. We have a feeling the culprit is hiding in town. Feelings are irrational, and therefore, useless. All right, all right. Could you help us make sense of this situation so we can arrest the guilty opinion? Probability is 100%. Yes, I could. 
Show the rationalizer the clues in the journal! All right, let's try. Rationalizing. Data is insufficient. I need more information. But once we've narrowed down the time of the crime, the weapon used, and the opinion who did it, we can verify we've got the right culprit. Got it. Ugh, man, more information. Ah, god damn it, son of a... Right, so, uh, what we're going to do then is we're going to get our first, the first miscellaneous achievement here. So it doesn't matter what, uh, if you're open or closed-minded, hit the, or interact with the hammer there, and then speak to the opinion. Again, I think you have to be open-minded. I don't think it makes too much of a difference, but you can't skip the dialogue for this achievement. You're just going to leave him out. I could really use your whack. Don't we all, bruv? Don't we all? So now you can give him a whack, and you will get the achievement uh, Whack a Worker for whacking him. Again, it doesn't work if you just hit him straight away. I believe you've got to hit the clue first and then speak to him and finish. let him finish his dialogue. So... With that out of the way, hit the memory rock here. That should be 37.4% that you're on now. No, I didn't. Screw off. There we go. So uh, once you've interacted with the door, that will actually count as a clue. Head to the left here and interact with the key on the wall. I mean, it looks like a key, but it's actually a knife or something. Then interact with this door as well. Cool story, bro. <laughs> I like it. Uh, so after this one, head slightly down to get uh, the mace. One hit would leave you full of holes. Somebody would like that, I know. Uh, so what we need to do is actually hit the perspective switch here first. Hit the perspective of the switches. There we go. And then the, the bridge will open and then we can go to the back in order to get the next set of memory shards. And this will put us at a deep... 46.7% So head down interact with the tire marks on the floor and then interact with the opinion himself The opinion on velocity has been rolling around a If it's not fast, I'm not it. Whatever <laughs> And then we can continue on our merry way so up and to the right We're basically back in the sort of main square now, but we are gonna start heading down uh, hit the rock first in order to get, of course, some more memory shards. Oh, another memory unlocks too. Nice. I'm so sorry, hon. You know I work extra hours. So after that's done then, um, it should be 56.1, by the way, you should be on now. So, oh, there is another memory rock right here as well. Now, again, that was one I actually missed as well the first time round. 65.4, so right there, just next to the big thing in the middle. Interact with the footprints there on the floor as well. But again, 65.4% you should be on by now. Interact with the next set of footprints. While the mine was open. No, it couldn't have. So go forward and interact with the next and final set of footprints. Uh, so what we can do now is interact with the gloves, which are on the bench. And we'll put a big X down to say, hey, it's this is next. What we can then do is go around to the back of the house in order to get the next memory rock going and smashed up. Nice little pearl necklace for you all to enjoy as well. 74.8 is what you should be on. Head down the steps and we're going to get another achievement called Goal. Now there is a big edit because I'm embarrassed to say this took me longer than it really should have. All you had to do was just hit it straight at the goal and yeah... Mine actually went off the screen, so that's why I had to uh, restart the checkpoint. If you do restart the checkpoint, you just start back here anyway, so that's fine. But once you've gotten the goal achievement, interact with the scribblings there in the dirt. That'll be another clue. So you should be on 2, 6, and 8 in terms of opinions talked to, weapons found, and clues gathered. Uh, head up, now hit the perspective switch from the left. You can go ahead and speak to the opinion exercising, but we'll drop down here first, grab a couple more memory shards for 81.3, and then interact with the bat. And then we'll head back up. 
For some reason, you can't step on the yellow bits for whatever reason, but there we go. So, speak to El Opinionative. And that should be 3, 7, and 7 in the top left-hand corner, as you can see. Or roughly about that, anyway. There appears to be an invincible wall. Well, thank you very much. Right, so now we can head over the bridge to the left in order to look at the big uh, receipt. A receipt for the town's... And then we're going to head down. So go down before we go up. Speak to this opinion and he'll talk to you a bunch of whole bunch of whatevers. We don't care. Well, we do care, kind of. Then interact uh, with the sign there on the left. That should now be nine out of nine clues all gathered. So now what we can do is head to the left again before heading up and speak to... Uh, <laughs> yeah, speak to this guy. I don't know what the hell I was doing there. I don't know what happened. That should now be five out of five opinions talk to. Hit the perspective switch to turn it to closed minded. Yellow is the best color. And then talk to him again. He apparently really enjoys yellow. That's that's nice. Cool story, bro. Um again, we've talked to all the opinions, so we don't actually need to speak to those two again. Uh go over to the left here, hit the memory shard on the rock. We're gonna get another achievement as well coming up now. Uh, but that should be 90.7. Then you need to be going to next to this Cerebrum Cider. Hit the B button a couple of times until the next achievement unlocks. Answers. There are no happy endings in this city. I tried drowning my sorrows in Cerebrum Cider. But the little critters learned how to swim. They say every dog has his day. But I ain't counting on seeing mine anytime soon. I only work nights. I was a heavy thinker. Speaking of which, uh, speaking about a uh, heavy thinker, if someone dies in a living room, is it still a living room? Or is it now a dies room? Meh. Right, um, sorry, I also forgot to say as we just get the last weapon there, I also forgot to say it's another Welshie's heavy thought. So, up we go. We're basically going to go into the middle now of the town square. We're going to open up our journal and deduce exactly what happened. So, what we're going to do is flip over everything apart from the work opinion on who did it, the steel candlestick as a weapon, and the morning at what time of day. Probably not this weapon. Let's rule out night as the time of the crime. The crime didn't happen in the afternoon. I don't think this opinion is the culprit. Let's rule out this opinion. Not our culprit. I'll eliminate this opinion. Rationalizing. Assumption is rational. Probability is 100%. <gasps> That's the right solution, Dusty. Excellent. Elementary. Yesterday, in the morning, the opinion on labor used a candlestick to knock out the opinion on justice. After that, it did what any rational opinion would do. Panic. Little did the opinion know that every action it took left a trail for us to follow. And you did this without whacking anybody. Feels a bit weird, to be honest. Let's go uh, talk to the opinion on labor. We caught you blue-handed, bub. I would never. I was busy working on something. Save it. We know you hit the opinion on justice on the head. Be a bit open-minded. Look behind you and see what I built, and then tell me I'm guilty. Hmm. I don't really see anything. Dusty! It's running away! Rats! Let's go! So it was the guy we whacked. Now, to be fair, it's a bit weird. Somebody you've just met goes, oh, I could do with a whack. Could you whack me there, please, buddy? Hmm. Interesting. So we're heading up to the right, not on the bridge, but actually onto the concrete steps. So we're almost done again with this level. Um, in fact, we are definitely way less than an hour now, until the game's end.
Hey, opinion. So how Broski just got through there without being blown blown to smithereens, I have no idea. Right, so interact with his memory shards first. Make sure to just get these out of the way. So what he's going to do, when you get close to him, he's going to run off to the next. He's basically playing baseball. Uh, as we just get to 100% there. Um... So off he'll go. Now what you need to do is quickly just go to the left hand side before he runs off. So what you effectively need to do is get on that switch, go to the left and hit the perspective switch. Chase him until he's on the top pad. As you can see where the cage is. And then just go up to the left, interact with it and that'll be the end of this. Start a cutscene and Kablamo Marge! Oh no! Cage closed! Oh, my poor head. Oh, what's all this commotion? And look who's awake! Justice has been restored! Wait. Whoa! Another cardinal stone. Gotcha. Justice did prevail. So, at least you got the cardinal stone after all this. <laughs> it almost escaped, Piper. Ahem. The opinion on labor went a bit out of control. Oh, tell me about it. <clears throat> that opinion has a tendency to do that. Yeah, but from now on, it's staying put. I, I'll keep an eye on him. Uh, I guess it's back to the moral compass. To bring the clown to justice. Yeah. <laughs> This whole debacle taught me a thing or two about dealing with bad guys. With this stone, the compass should rise enough to finally get us to the Jester. The Cardinal Stone of Justice. Look, Angela, I'm sorry I yelled earlier. It's just that... Right now, things are kind of crazy at work. I know. I get it. I'm sorry, too. Yeah, I know. But it's all going to work out. This whole house thing is just... We miss you at home. The compass is aligning itself again. I feel... Clarity. Some problems have more than one solution. Yeah, listen to the compass core. Maybe whacking isn't the answer. True. Maybe we need to capture the jester. Uh, I'm not sure that'll be much better, Dusty. Don't be so close-minded, Piper. Oh. I'll fix this like I always do. Okay, time to get the final, uh, time to get the final, uh, final, final, time to get the final stone we need. So hit this stone first, and that's going to put us up again to about 9.1, so it should be on 9.1%. This is where we're going to be fighting quite a lot more enemies, by the way, so get yourself prepared. And of course, the first bit is Stratoa. Rejoice! It's Rusty, the personification of a soft handshake. Get back to the party! Did you bring snacks? No, we brought punch. Jeez, what a party pooper! Drop the one-liners and come and help me! Help you with what? 
tearing apart the moral compass, clogging up the ethics maze, turning opinions on each other? Never! You really think I did all that? Wake up, Dusty! Guys, maybe we should just calm down and- The mind is overworked, barely ever sees its friends, and completely forgot about its hobbies! But together, we can change the mind! Oh yeah, we're gonna have a real bash, buddy. Fantastic insults there, by the way, from the Jester. Uh, so once we've just avoided all the attacks, we will now grab the next memory shards, and that should put us at a nice 27.3. Uh, we're not, he's not gonna fight, they, they are not gonna fight us here. So we're gonna head down, hit the switch, uh, but we can't actually do anything with it just yet. So what we need to do is continue heading down, grab this cage, but before doing that again, what you're going to do is go around all the way to the back of the house and hit this next memory shard or the memory rock. Again, another very easily missed one there. So grab that one and if, you, if you're like me and you don't get stuck between two, two diamonds, that should put you on 36.4. Now grab the cage, go up to the red button and then press the B button to drop it down. Heavy, but pretty practical. And lovely. Now we can go to the right, hit the uh, switch of perspectiveness, and then we can grab the cage and we can be on our merry way. Are you really going to bring that thing along? We can use this to capture the jester. But those things... So we're going to head to the right, just over the bridge, and for the moment, we are going to put this cage down on this red button. Then we will just continue forwards, go to the left, and as you can see, it's two buttons that we need. So, on this bridge, there's going to be two enemies, and then another two enemies, plus an indestructible cannon to shoot. So, be careful here. Sorry guys, I just lied to you through song. I hate when people do that. There was five enemies altogether, not four as I suggested. Uh, so as we continue on, or basically to the right, you can speak again to opinion if you want. By the way, I think it's time for another Welshy heavy thought. So if you buy a bigger bed, you're left with more bedroom, but less bedroom. You get it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, oh, that's true. So hit the memory rock anyway from the back of the house. You needed to hit the perspective switch first in order to be able to get through. And that'll give you 45.5%. Head up if you need some more health. Make sure to be grabbing health now. Again, like I said, there's going to be quite a few uh, battles coming up now as we near sort of the end of the game. And then we can drop down. La la. Grab the blue battery. Let's get on the juice tail. Let's get on the Jester's tail and be prepared for some more enemies. Yeah! 
and another battle completed. Right, hit the blue battery, put this into the machine here. That'll get the bridge going, so now we can cross that. Another bit of... Oh, yeah. The music, man. Uh, right, so... Um, we will uh, get some health again here if you need it. But what we actually came here for is obviously the memory shards. And the red battery to the right of us. Oh, and apparently another memory as well, which is always nice. How's for your family? Is the day you'll be a real man, son? I mean, that's a boomer's way of thinking, really, isn't it? You're a real man whenever you do what the hell you want. It, it, this, this whole thing, sorry, as we get to 63.6 and then hit it and go on. This whole thing of, like, you know, you have to get married. You know, the boomers, the boomer style of, well, we were married in our 20s, blah, blah, blah. Like, bruh, I don't care. I, 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 I don't care. Like, no, nobody cares. You can do whatever the hell you want. Doesn't make you any less of a man or less of a woman. Just... Pff. Anyway, that's my little rant for the day over. We're in a generation where we actually consider each other's feelings now. Uh, right, so... Or mostly, anyway. So, this bit, all we got to do then is just... Uh, take your time. You are going to be shot at by six cannons overall. So, obviously, just try and batter them away as best you can. soon enough oh a bit cagey, huh? but this is another fun part anyway so what we need to do is grab the cage and effectively you can just walk straight through the balls because they somehow disappear as you'd be able to see sorry and just another thing there about the old boomer style country of life uh, so again just make sure to pick up the cage and just walk straight forward into the balls so they don't hurt you the other one is oh you've got to have kids to be happy now don't get me wrong love my kids to death, they are my absolute world, but I don't believe in the notion that you've got to have kids to be happy. Literally, you can do what the hell you want. Live your life free however you want it. So, here we go in, dropping down again, putting the um, cage down anyway. Sorry, that was my final rant about stuff. Hitting the perspective switch, now you're going to have to turn around, so continue walking forward and then around in order to not get hit. Then we can go over the piano. If the cage can keep the bad guys out, it can also keep them in. Dusty, the Jester, I don't think they're bad. Right, they're the worst. <laughs> yep, looks good. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Let's get this talent show off the ground. Then we just need some lights. A show of opinions. <gasps> They're preparing a party! So, let us go ahead and pop the cage in the middle of the light. Another chase sequence is going to be coming up in the next couple of minutes. It's always fun. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, nah, I'm not really the singing type. Oh, off the hook! But that opinion spends so much time preparing. There we go. Sometimes the means justify the ends, Piper. One fine nightmare trap. Now we just need to lure the jester back here. Are you really sure about this? Huh. 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 
So another easily messed memory shard coming up. Just go behind this little stall of cakes or something and grab the next set of memory shards here or the memory balls, whatever. 72.7% is what you should be on. So we're coming up to another achievement. Now this bit can get quite intense. Um, in terms of there's a lot of enemies firing at you. Uh, grab the next memory rock uh, anyway right here. This will put us on to 81.8. So we will grab um, a couple of health bowels. I know they were called elemental neurons or something, but green health balls sounds a lot better, doesn't it? So, this is the part. We're going to get another achievement here as well. We basically need to lure an enemy under these heavy thought boxes. But there's going to be two cannons shooting at you from either side as well. So, it, it's pretty hard to miss that one. But I decided to try and go full frontal attack and I paid the price for it. As you can tell, I got mashed up badly. Um, so, yeah. So, make sure to get that achievement and then be a little bit more... A little better sneakier with it. Don't try and attack a cannon to its face. So yes, that bit can get quite intense, so uh, congratulations, I'm proud of you for making it through. Uh, so as we head up again, get some delicious green kiwi bows in your mouth. And then as we head up, there's going to be another indestructible cannon appearing, plus some more enemies, so you know, do your thing, girl. Boy, girl. kept coming. The jester is causing havoc everywhere they go. I don't think they can help it. They don't mean to be bad. Oh man, fights are coming thick and fast now, huh? Right, so as we continue our way around... Oh, this doesn't look ominous at all, does it? But it's actually, all he's gonna do is obviously throw some stuff at you. You go to hit him once, but all you gotta do is dodge, and then after about 30 seconds, he'll chill out. Stop! Enough, Jester! Huh? What? We're having fun! Yeah, uh, you really convinced me, Jester. I, uh, I have a big surprise for you. A real surprising surprise. Woohoo! I just knew you'd come around! I can't wait! Yeah, it's back at that stage. Just follow me, I'll show you. I'm sure it'll really captivate you. By God, it's time for another... Well, she's heavy thoughts. So they say actions supposedly speak louder than words, but speaking is also an action. So you're at a dead end there, boy. Right, so <laughs> go forward, hit the memory next shard. You're going to get 100% here. 
And then when we go in next into the left, the next left area, make sure your health is pretty much full because there's going to be another whole bunch of enemies plus a slammer to try and smash. So enjoy. Retain your crackpots a little bit. The northern area! Ah, sorry, sorry. Just so excited. Should do it now, lad. There we go. So pick up all the health that you can, and then we can continue heading down. Hit the button of life. Again, the chase sequence is going to be coming up soon. It's not going to end well, no. So we're basically now heading back towards the stage. We've obviously hit that memory rock, so don't worry about that. So this little chase sequence then, remember we had one with the big hog at the beginning of the game? Well, this has a lot more going on. Again, if you die, you just start from a checkpoint that's not too far away. Um, so, yeah, literally you just have to avoid balls, avoid enemies. Uh, but as long as you keep running and don't stop, you should be golden as noggets. Huh? What? No! What's this? Let me out! Nope, you're staying put. Your reign of confetti is over. I thought I could trust you! Is is this some kind of a sick joke? Yep, and it's all on you. Just another day at the office. And Creed Valley is finally free of the- That's the- the cage! Huh? No! More! <laughs> Let's get out of here! I can't believe this. I did everything I could. We'll figure it out later. Keep running. This isn't happening! Denial won't get us anywhere! And we have to go! <sighs> if only I could just get another go at them! <sighs> You've shed enough confetti already! <laughs> there they are again! <laughs> 
those clowns. They made a fool of me. Anger won't help. Just run, Dusty, run! No. I'm going to chop that stupid clown into sawdust. You've tried that already. It's not going to work. If I just get a bigger cage or get some help, we can capture them. We're way past bargaining, Dusty. Let's just get out of here. I think we're lost. Look, an opening. Where, where are we? Let's find out. So yeah, that was pretty intense. <laughs> that had a lot going on, didn't it? Jeez. So obviously you would have got these story related achievements there. Flee like an idiot. Um, so we're going to get a little bit depressed here, then we're going to basically play as the bird, and we're going to be getting our final memory. So we will be unlocking two delicious achievements very, very soon. I just make things worse. Please, you can do this! You're dusty! This is just another one of your dust-ups! This time, I'm biting the dust, Piper. <laughs> no, you can't! Okay, fine. Give up, you willful, close-minded jerk! If you won't, I'll fix this. Sure thing, Birdie. Yeah, here goes nothing. So for the time being then, all you're going to be doing is effectively just following the light. So that's the path, just the path of light. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Bird up. You can do this, Piper. A, a light? And then you're going to see a big, this big orange light. This is actually the final memories. So again, providing that you've been following along throughout the entirety of the game and you haven't missed any, you will unlock two achievements. The Remembrance Shards are all done. And uh, yeah, we don't have to worry about looking for any more. Etc, <laughs> etc. Et so what we are now going to do is basically there's going to be like these big bulbs that are going to start appearing. So what you need to do is just go down the light path and just basically interact with all those bulbs in order to get the lights going. Uh, it's uh, pretty simple, quite linear. It's genuinely easy enough, this part. Um, but again, it seems time for another, well, she heavy thought. Now, they say that the brain uh, basically controls everything. So you ba basically controls your talking, etc. So technically, the brain did actually name itself. That's some impressive brain power right there.
Huh? Uh, Did you birdie? miss me? What? What happened <laughs> Time to, to you? Time to lighten up, big guy. Follow me. Follow you. <sighs> I I don't. I can't. Listen to me, Dusty. I know you can do it. I believe in you. <sighs> How... how did you become so brave all of a sudden? I thought you were afraid of the dark. Someone once told me there will always be things to fear. Being courageous is not letting them stop you. Must have been someone wise. <laughs> not as wise as he thinks. I deserve that one. Thanks, Nugget. Okay. <sighs> Forward is the way to go. All right, let's see where this takes us. What is this place? Man, what a dump. Seems like the jester has also been clowning around up here. Again, nice little easy bit here. What we're gonna do is just interact with these shimmering images. So it's basically like a bowl of cereal. Um, something just at the back, uh, like laundry at the back, the bowl of cereal, laundry or whatever at the back, the TV stand, and then the receipt on the right-hand side. It's basically more cutscene. It's impossible to get in! Or out. <sighs> All these cleaning utilities, they make a mess. Look over there! A phone! Why is there a direct line to the mind here? This must have been an important place. But now it just looks abandoned. Strange. Looks like it's been a while since anyone hung around here. A bunch of to-do lists. Someone tried to tear them apart. Everything has been completely forsaken. Forgotten. But who lived here? Wait. The Jester is not a nightmare. They are a part of the mind. Like us. Look at that bullhorn. All the chores. The Jester was silenced. No wonder they ran away. They just wanted to be heard. Yeah, and I didn't listen. So, what do we do now, Piper? Hmm. It might not be too late to fix all this. Yeah, maybe. I guess we can start with this place. Hey, Piper. Hand me that elbow grease. Phew! <laughs> That's one respectable fun house. Yeah. Um, Piper? I should have listened to you earlier. You know, I'm sorry I was so stubborn. Don't worry, big guy. You got there in the end. It's not over yet, though. I know... I know this feeling. Whoa! Whew. Here comes another cardinal stone. Oof. There we go! The cardinal stone of integrity! Let's get it to the compass! Stop the jester before they destroy the compass core. The house is empty. The jester hasn't been here. Well, I mean, fair play. You are just a tiny little man and a tiny little bird. You clean that place up. Lovely. Uh, but yes, remember we've got no more memories to collect, so we're effectively now 
Piper. just going to head if to the Memories Core. No one will. And it's basically a face-off where we don't actually have to attack, but we do have to survive. A lot of rockets are going to be shooting towards your Ani. And the, okay. well, I suppose the rest of your body. The compass, Piper. <laughs> Quite the expedition. <laughs> The last one. The cardinal stone of integrity. The moral compass is complete. See you soon, honey. I'll be back in time for your bedtime story, okay? Dad, you have to go. You work all the time. I'm just gonna pop by the office quickly. It's about the new house. Mom and Dad need to talk about some important things. I have... We have a big decision to make. What's going on? No words of enlightenment? Nothing. The compass is silent. The jester must already be causing havoc in its core. <gasps> Look! Down there! The jester has pried open the compass! We'll follow. And this time, we'll actually listen to the jester for a change. Let's hope they still want to talk. Let's go inside. So what we're doing here then is just following these steps and stairs all the way down until we reach the door and then this is where the fun begins. Now it seems like it's going to be quite intense but the boss, the, the final jester fight isn't too, uh, it, it's not as bad as it looks. But while we're here, I think it's time for another, well, she's heavy thoughts. If you get scared half to death twice, do you then die? Hmm. Surprisingly unsurprising surprise! The walking gone and his tread kick! He came all this way for an encore! How sweet! Listen, we know who you are. We saw your house. You were right about the mind! Bleh, 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 bleh. Together we can fix it. Dance like an idiot, right? An idiot? Sure! But dance? You ridiculous! <sighs> Enough sword swinging. But, really? Your sword? It's about time I change my plan of attack. But, how are you going to beat the Jester without your sword? I'm not. If they really want to dance, that's what we'll do. Are you going to dance? There's a first time for everything, right? <laughs> Music, please! Huh? But what? Here goes nothing! <laughs> yeah, you got this, Dusty! So, so you dance? So what? So there's a whole bunch of phases that is going to happen here. Um, Alright, sorry, Jesus. So anyway, the spotlight smashes down, so we basically need to grab these three. The three flaps uh, for the spotlight, so grab the first one there. Next, what will happen is these balls, so basically stand behind the spotlight, and that will obviously get rid of the balls. Go to the other side of the spotlight, and that will get rid of the next set of balls. They're not going to slap you in the face and give you a little bruise on your cheek. Uh, obviously, try and avoid 
dodge and avoid all of the rockets as well. You can obviously see by the aim of the floor. Go ahead, grab the flap. There will be some more balls, but you can just easily um, stick your flap on those balls and just gobble them up lovely. <laughs> Sorry, that was too easy. And there's the next one down. The rockets will still be aiming towards you. So just be careful. Now, again, big shame here. The songs that the jester, the both of them sing, their voices in this get incredible. Really, really good at the end. So just keep avoiding all these rockets anyway. And then eventually it's going to start with the balls again. So quickly go to the left-hand side because they come at you a little bit quicker now. Mum. And to the other side again. And the other side once more. Now, you can go ahead and grab the flap. Only this time, the rockets will still be aiming for you. But you're going to have to go the long way round. So you need to turn around to uh, hit the balls and etc, etc. You know the job. Get that on the last flap and then more stuff's going to happen. And show your moves! We're not done yet, Jester. You're not the only one who can party. Ah, I'll have nothing to do with it! So this time we got rockets shooting out of their little handy thing, so just keep avoiding the rockets for now, there's nowhere else to go. So next up, there's going to be these white balls, which are going to go sort of up and down. So it's just a case of avoiding these and getting to the spotlight. All right, let me try this again. Forget it, Killjoy! So this time, what you need to do is go around the spotlight, but you need to dodge when... Uh, through one of the gaps of the rockets. As you can see, I failed to do that at least twice. But you need to dodge through the gaps and get to the spotlight. There it is. So we need to go around again, but this time there are balls that are going up and down. And you need to just get through the gaps in the rockets. Hey, Jester. Check out these moves! Woohoo! Pretty neat, huh, Jester? Hmm, that was kind of cool! I'm not falling for it! Get out of your heads, Jester! There's a party waiting for you! Well, I mean... So the intensity starts spiking up now. Um, rockets are gonna come, you're gonna have to avoid rockets coming towards you and on top of your head. Plus, there's going to be balls uh, coming up on the right, so you have to get into the middle. So you see the space right there, you need to get into the middle. Now, the quickest way to do it is dodge. So just dodge straight for the... As you can see, I got smashed up twice there. But you basically just need to dodge towards the gap. Uh, dodge, of course, all the rockets at the top here. And then we're going to do that dodging thing again. So this time there are three waves of balls we need to uh, get through. So the one's going to be in the middle, then go down. And then you need to go to the top and reach the spotlight. And then the next phase, we need to do this again, but the opposite way. Keeps going! 
partying. We've got one thing in common, you and I. Neither of us likes compromises. But give me a chance here. Dancing? Singing? I can't believe this! I need noise to think! Okay! I'm convinced! Ha <laughs> ha! Then see if you can keep up! Ha <laughs> ha! This is what we are going to do! So you think it's over, don't you? But no, the celebration gets even more intense here. So obviously stay on the outer ring and just try and avoid the ball as much as you can. <laughs> A lot of rockets going to be spraying towards you now. So again, just avoid, avoid, avoid. And it's finally over, so yeah, that, <laughs> that guy got pretty intense, especially the singing though, but now, obviously if you've got the music on, I wonder if it was kind of a put off, obviously I've turned music off, so it was easier to concentrate, so if you do seem to be struggling with that, uh, the final part, turn the music way down and hopefully it'll be a bit easier for you then. Right, so, uh... This is now effectively the end of the game. We've got just the two achievements left to get, and that's basically story related. So I'm just going to hit you with two uh, Welshies heavy thoughts here. One is kind of depressing, and another one is, well, it's just been awesome. So, the depressing one first. At some point, your parents set you down, and they never picked you up again. That is, uh, yeah, that one that hits you deep, right? Yes. Now, <clears throat> humans cut down trees for paper on which to draw trees. Huh. Funny. Right, but um, <clears throat> anyway, this this is effectively it now. It's basically just a cutscene for the next couple of minutes. So the last achievement will unlock when the credits roll. So I will leave it here. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I really hope you enjoyed the game. And I hope okay. you, the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, uh, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members as well, and everyone who interacts with me with the daily. So thank you so, so much again. And I will see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Big ol' love. Also, what I might be doing is uh, I might actually start doing some of these Welshy particular thoughts, maybe on YouTube shorts and TikToks and stuff. Let me know. Let me know if if you would like that, because that was something I could think may be key. Well, bear. Dance like the idiot that you 
are! Now, I know you probably forgot how, so here are some ideas. You remember music, right? How about that ukulele? You loved to play it when you were a kid. We had some great times back then, just because it felt good, right? He must be working a bit late. He should be here any minute now. Hold on, honey. Hi, honey. Dad, you're home! What's that? Is that for me? Actually, I bought this for myself. <laughs> Your dad was quite the ukulele hero when he was young. <laughs> it's been a while. Huh? Oh, the contract for the house. Oh, right. That old thing. Was it the deadline for signing today? Yeah, it was. <sighs> What's that? Nothing important, honey. Just someone else's dream. 